greetings to all and welcome to the next video tutorial of the playlist forming hyperform so in this video tutorial we will see how you can add a new material in your library as we know to create a non-linear material every time it's quite difficult if you are working on some material and you need to use that material very frequently for number of analysis you can create your own material in the library and you can use it multiple times so to do so make sure you are in the hyperform manufacturing solution profile incremental radius just go for ok so when i go for import any material look uh, i already imported here some more material i'm just going to delete those so to import your material you have to go for here in the setup material database and number of material are available in the database those material are available during installation itself but if you want to create your own material and add in this database so like here i have my steel material uh, don't don't bother that material is not in composite folder the composite folder is different and here it is my own material even you can create your own folder for the material okay so to do so you have to go for your material database where your all material are saved so just go for in installation folder c program file and here it is in altair okay so after that you have to choose the folder where your material is exists so please note down path 14 and uh, here in hm scripts then here we have to go for hyperform there is hyperform in hyperform we have to go for automation in automation we have material database material db and here you have material so this is my material that i created if i go for delete this material that will also delete from the material database so just let me delete here and go for here and again go for setup material database okay so that material is not available now in the material database so if you want to create your own material what you have to do you have to go for so there are two ways first you can write your own script and second you are just going to copy the existing script and you modify the material data so let me modify the existing data here we have two types of file for every material one is dot key file and another one is dot rd file dot key file is for lsdyna user profile as we know hyperform provide the facility to solve the problem using radius solver and lsdyna solver okay so if you are using the lsdyna solver you need to add it this material dot key and if you want to choose radio solver you have to modify dot rd file so let me copy one material randomly i am taking crdq material i am quite familiar with this material okay so just copy somewhere make sure you did not modify the things in the original folder okay you no need to change anything in this particular file this is available on the original database you have to copy the file and you have to go for somewhere else just paste here okay crdq material open it in notepad or notepad plus plus see this is the information about the solver and here slash bing the material will be start and these are the scale value for material database and this is the material rule hill tab material okay the name of material crdq this is the density uh, by default that is available in 10 mm and second unit that's why the material is available in index to the power 9 power so this is your young's modulus poison's ratio and these 1.6 are nothing but your langford coefficient for the orthotropic material if you know those parameter for the orthotropic material you can change this otherwise here we are considering same value if we are considering same value for the orthotropic material it will not remain orthotropic okay and this is very important uh, stress strain data for the material so i'm not going to change too much in the file but if you have any existing data for stress strain curve you just simply paste here i'm going to modify this existing data so after strain value one uh, assuming that 
at 1.1 by stress value here 560 and at 1.2 i'm assuming that my stress value here 580 that, that is only assumptions at 1.5 strain i have 700 stress so this is obviously false material uh, data just uh, as for tutorial i'm going to save this save and uh, make sure you rename the material as my steel okay the most important thing here the extension of the file should be dot rad if you are editing radius material and if you are going to edit your ls dyna material then the extension should be dot key so just hit enter button and copy your file paste in original database here so either you can choose any folder or you can just simply paste here so i am choosing the folder that is steel one and paste here so it will be asking for ss keep continue just go for here in the material database just go for setup material database and now you have your material my steel c so this is your material that you created and every time you will get this material in your material database just go for select yeah material is imported and if you want to see the parameter uh, for the stress strain curve just go for here in the curve right click and go for edit and see this is the stress strain parameter for the material and what and whatever material parameter we are defined they are available in the curve so that material is permanently saved in your database and you can utilize that material number of times in each session so that's all for this video tutorial and thank you for listening to know more about the hyperform farming simulation you can check out the playlist as available on your screen thank you again